All right, all right, all right, we're back. I'm Strategic Sully, and I'm here to bring you all your tips, your tricks, your strategies you need to dominate at mobile gaming. With that being said, let's get into some Clash Royale today on the main account. Sully, man, we have a new deck built for you guys today. You might be like, how did you come up with this deck, Strategic Sully? And I'll be like, just wait a second, stop assuming I came up with it. My girlfriend, Queen B, she came up with this deck. I've tried it out a few times. It is dominating like she told me. So let's get into a few live matches with it. You know what better than that let's fully commit to using this deck upgrading the freeze to level six first epic card at level six now the freeze holds for 5.5 seconds now let's get into some live battles all right guys one more thing before we get into these live battles be sure to hit that subscribe button support the channel and hit that like button at the end of the video if you guys do think these matches get down to the wire so in this first one, we're going against Eweed. Eweed, he's at $39.99. The season did just reset very recently. So let's go hot, heavy, spicy, and wild with a hard minor graveyard. And then let's see what he does with this. Let's freeze this right here and see how he responds. Ooh, a dirty, dirty, dirty princess. Let's see if we can get more damage done to him than he did to us. We did significantly. He's at 1726 on his left. I'm at 2240 on my right, on my left. So let's go into this. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough time to get down the tombstone. So we're going to drop a dark goblin right here to get rid of that princess. Actually helped take out the hog rider as well so now he is definitely up we could have sent in another miner but we don't want to run into the spot where we don't have any elixir again and he countered the executioner very well so it's good that we did not respond to it he does have the goblin barrel so let's get ready with that musketeer locks on the goblins like a stud boy she is beautiful i love her we could do this, but he's probably not ready for this. So he's going to drop the princess. What we're going to do right now is we're going to zap those skeletons. Beautiful. His princess is locked onto my musketeer. Let's see how much damage we can do with the skeletons. The skeletons, 470, bring the tower down to. We can drop an executioner right here. He should go for princess. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So this was our downfall of the evening, of the day, of the week, of the year, of the hour. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully the tower holds. The tower does hold. This looks like it's going to be a two tower kind of match. So let's see what he does with this executioner. Is he going to let him get a shot up? He does. Interesting. So now he's up just absolutely barely. So we're going to drop a dark goblin there and a miner to the left of that left tower. See how he responds to it. Let's me take the tower down just barely. Oh, I freaking love it. So now the game is completely even. I would say let's drop an executioner right here I can't believe the musketeer just went for the ice golem and not the freaking hog rider but you know what sometimes we just got to deal with that we have to deal with that damage over there as well because now we're setting up with something super super dirty and that is this freeze zap on the princess on the tower unfortunately we could not get both arena towers but we had to do that due to the fact of the inferno tower right there the princess the skeleton army we had to get things down tombstone's going down right there musketeer's going to lock on to the hog rider we got an executioner down for that goblin barrel oh baby we take it out now let's drop another miner see if we can get any of these skeletons to survive gonna drop a dark goblin right there along with a zap hopefully the dark goblin can get a shot off gets one shot off on the tower along with a pop from the musketeer he is going to send in another hog rider no he's going to send in a goblin barrel musketeer goes down let's see if we can hold if we could get the freeze down i bet we could but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to oh baby this is going to be a close one let's drop the freeze ready set right now okay good so this is going to be interesting for sure musketeer unfortunately does not lock onto that musketeer now about to lock onto the tower gets two oh baby oh baby oh baby this is gonna come down to the wire hog rider can't get a shot up freeze 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 oh my god what is going on right now we sent it down for the win oh yeah baby you don't see that kind of action every day of the week, month, year, minute, century, whenever you want to say. You can't always see these kinds of matches. 
That came down to the wire. Let's get into another one. All right, so in this one, we are going against Lulu. He is a level 10. Let's see. Oh, he's getting aggressive with a Goblin Barrel right off the bat. Dark Goblin helps take out the Goblin Barrel. Let's get aggressive and do a graveyard of our own and see what he does to this. Miner in the back. He's going to Minion Horde. Very interesting play. Very, very interesting. Let's see what we can do. We're going to let that Minion Horde do the damage. Oh, my good lord. That minion horde did work. I didn't even see it happen. Let's go with an executioner. He says, wow, because he's stunned. He can't believe what just happened. He witnessed something that does not happen to everybody. Did you see that ice wizard like glitch out when uh, he got hit by that executioner? That was interesting. He's getting angry with us for who knows what reason. He's probably going to distract us, obviously, with a Valkyrie right at the bridge. Why wouldn't he send that in? He's going to send in another goblin barrel. We are going to dark goblin that. Not much else we could have done. We could freeze, but I'm pretty sure he's probably got the log or something to take out this dark goblin very quickly. Imagine if we would have froze that. Oh, baby, that could have been catastrophic or incredibly valuable. One of the two, and only those two options were available. Let's see if we can set up with a graveyard freeze. That would be really nice. I would appreciate it for sure. So let's send in that graveyard, and then we're ready to freeze right now. Beautiful. Okay, so let's see how much we can get done. He does have that zap we all do hate. Some skeletons didn't manage to build up. 1039 is not bad at all. He's got 784 on my left. So let's see what we can produce with this. Dark Goblin. Oh. Oh, please don't hit my Musketeer. Oh, he did. He did hit my Musketeer, but you got to think about it like this. Why wouldn't he hit my Musketeer? So here comes the Goblin Barrel. We legitimately can't even respond to that. We can't afford the Executioner to go in at that tower with, say, a third of its health missing. It's just not worth it. We were better off to lose that tower and then rebuild, repush, and hopefully do something a little bit better this time. So we're going to send in another graveyard. We're ready with the freeze. There's that Valkyrie. That's what we needed to freeze. That's what we needed. We're going to zap those fire spirits. We do not want to deal any damage from them. Unfortunately, that Valkyrie is going to survive. But we were able... Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We take out the Minion Horde and the Inferno Tower. Wow, that was nuts. Oh, my goodness. All right, Executioner is going down over here. He is definitely very scared. Let's send in a Dark Goblin for right over there along with a graveyard over here and then we're gonna send in a miner over here he's got a valkyrie but what we have is a free spell right now which is gonna free some of them oh baby oh baby oh baby look at the oh my god did you see that holy jiminy christmas that was wild that what, this is that deck, I'm telling you. Queen Bee had the right mindset when she put this together. Let's get into another one. We're going into it against Whitey White Light from Orange Pulp. Dark Goblin back is not the best start, but I think he might send in a Hog Rider or just the Lone Ice Spirit, which is pretty interesting. So let's go Graveyard. Hopefully Graveyard can tank. He sends in a Mega Minion. We're going to freeze that right now. And let's see what we can produce with this. I believe that's a Valkyrie underneath there. No, it's an Ice Golem. It's the Ice Golem, folks. All right, so unfortunately, the Musketeer is not going to be too valuable to us. So we got an Executioner right here. Should take out most of the minions. Oh, baby, takes out the entire minion horde. If that Executioner, if we would have played a Musketeer, we would have lost that tower. Just to give you guys an idea of how valuable the Executioner is. The fact that he just did all that splash damage is ridiculous 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 let's see what he responds with a mega minion and archers this guy's got some good counters let's jump a musketeer in the back left now he's up by four hp so he's got the ice golem we can pull it back with the tombstone right there boom beautiful all right dark goblin behind the tower to help get rid of the miner hopefully musketeer gets rid of archer even better Perfect. Now, does the Dark Goblin get logged down? Does he get met with something? We don't know until now. Dark Goblin gets all the shots he can off. Then he sends in the Ice Spear for the Musketeer. That's what you shouldn't have done, folks. That's what he should not have done. Now we are up by about 200 hit points. 
we're gonna send in another executioner we want to set up with that graveyard freeze but now we probably would like to back it up with an executioner due to the fact of that minion horde due to the fact of that valkyrie so let's see how he does this we could send in the graveyard now and then we could send in the miner right there and then we could send in the freeze right there beautiful we even got the mega minion in there that is phenomenal but i want to say he he did something he must have done something folks because apparently apparently all the skeletons are gone apparently all the skeletons are gone and it looks like we're going to take some mega heat but not too much heat because i'm telling you this executioner this executioner is off the wall crazy good let's drop a freeze right there beautiful beautiful okay minor can the executioner get one shot off minor gets minor didn't even need to go down there absolutely stunning how beautiful this just went let's see okay so the miner might just take the tower so we're going to set up with a dark goblin over here we're going to zap this executioner takes everything out oh my goodness he zaps he's so desperate ready for this graveyard ready for this we could have froze but we chose not to freeze right there let's see how he responds to this graveyard freeze folks it's the dirtiest play in the book look at those skeletons all right so we could have there was a chance we weren't going to be able to pull off a dub from freezing that miner so what we're going to do is we're going to set up with another miner an executioner and we're going to set up with a miner right there with the musketeer i believe i said okay so he's going to do that boy that just got cheeky on us let's zap that graveyard this and see what we can do along with freezing both towers right now archers can they stop it all oh, the skeletons are building folks we did it again my goodness this duck is running rampant it's running rampant i love it my god it's so strong let me show it to you guys one more time those were three dirty dirty wins with this incredibly strong deck i am pumped up that we did upgrade the freeze to level six because it totally paid off in every aspect of it you guys need to use this deck you need to it's so strong i wouldn't give it to you if it wasn't strong i've told you this before i'm only giving you dominating decks give it a go let me know how you do in the comments down below with that being said all my social media handles are right there boom 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 links are down in the description check them out and as always thank you for watching subscribe down below and i'll catch you all in the next episode